All right, hey guys, uh, Rob here. I am with, uh, well, everybody knows him. They really don't need an introduction, but James Reynolds, uh, our uh, resident vis videographer who uh, has been in numerous uh, typhoons this yeah. year. How many typhoons actually do you... I think it was uh, eight separate typhoons, but nine kind of attempted chases. So that was uh, Usagi twice. So yeah, eight typhoons this year. And uh, several different countries uh, thus far, and that's why uh, most people uh, know who you are. And I think the... Uh, <laughs> The biggest one was the most recent one with high end. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, kind of the season ended with a, a huge bang this year. Um, you know, it was busy enough, and then just have high end come along and really kind of cap off what's been a crazy year. Uh, it was really kind of a once in a lifetime typhoon that one. Yeah. Now showing one of these uh, clips here, and um, really just really during the height of the storm, uh, what were you thinking during the most of this time here? Was uh, your life ever at risk at any well, point in this? Nah, things were actually going really well because we'd specifically chosen a very sturdy, um, secure hotel. We wanted concrete to keep us safe from the winds and we had four floors to keep us safe from the storm surge. So uh, when that eye wall was hitting us, it was absolutely totally crazy and out of control. Um, we, we felt pretty comfortable. We felt like the building was doing its job protecting us well and we were safe from the elements. Unfortunately our problems started when the storm surge came in and that kind of caught a lot of people off guard as well. So, hey, You mentioned uh, a lot of people got caught off guard uh, ahead of the or during the storm surge. Was there any sense of a storm surge while you were there before the day prior? Uh, no, no. The, really, really the day prior, the, the, even the evening before there was no sense that there was a typhoon out there at all. There weren't really any big waves, there was no wind, it was just a no, nice normal calm evening and that kind of is a real testament to how kind of tightly wound the system was and how fast it was moving so you know it wasn't until daybreak uh, on the 8th of November just a couple of hours before landfall that we really felt that there was a strong typhoon on the way so no sense of surge yeah. or anything like that. That's extreme stuff though and definitely uh, showing the uh, footage here and, and you were in s numerous other typhoons and uh, you just uh, shared this uh, photo on Facebook of the uh, fortune <laughs> and I heard you got a, a, the misfortune, but wind and uh, waves for next year. Yes, yeah, it's a tradition in, in Japan. I'm, you know, visiting Rob and with my wife's family. We go to the, the, the temple on New Year's Day, and I, and I chose a bad fortune, which specifically made mention of strong winds and big waves. So that's kind of kind of quite apt to <laughs> my line of work. Sounds like typhoons in the forecast. Well, this is not the first time uh, me and James have actually hung out. We've. Uh, we met up a, a few times in Hong Kong, also in the Philippines. But this is the first time we've uh, met up with Roman here. I, I know if you're part of the uh, Westpac uh, discussion group, the, the weather discussion group, you've probably talked to him a few times. He lives right nearby as well. So it's a little impromptu meet and greet today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so obviously we are in Japan right now, though, here in Tokyo. You can see some of the buildings in uh, Shinjuku behind us. And uh, James, you uh, went through uh, several typhoons in Japan this year. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I did. Um, just in the usual place down in the islands. It was actually quite a busy season for mainland Japan as well, wasn't it? You were tackling some typhoons as well up in uh, in the Tokyo region. Yeah, well. actually a shot two here in Tokyo. One at the end of Kanagawa and one right in downtown Tokyo. I know for our viewers out of uh, Kanagawa, they actually got some good shots uh, from uh, some of the military bases over there as well. But how many typhoons did you go through in the southern Japanese? Uh, just year? two this year, actually. Uh, one in Miyakojima, which was uh, Typhoon Fitao, and then uh, the day after that, uh, I was back in Okinawa, and that's when Typhoon Danas went through, just clipped the northern uh, part of the main island. So it was kind of two typhoons in two consecutive days. I don't think that's been done before. <laughs> Good on a budget, I guess. <laughs> and right before that one, you actually went through one in Taiwan, right? Yeah, that was um, it was it was Usagi, which um, passed just south of Taiwan, but it was a Cat Five, a couple like a day or so before. So there was huge waves crashing into. Taiwan and then went back to home to Hong Kong because I thought it might hit there <laughs> and then um, and then it was like October really just was the real start of typhoon season that's when it went, when it went really crazy mm. yeah three typhoons in a week <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, know we have a lot of people watching from Okinawa and uh, really I always advise them and I hope you can back this up if a storm's coming towards Okinawa you can't run anywhere this is no. one of those situations where you stay inside and yeah, absolutely. It's, it's a case of just um, holding up. Obviously, most of the buildings there are pretty safe and secure. Uh, and keep away from the sea because it is exceptionally dangerous in, uh, in Okinawa. You get the big swells coming in. It's easy to get kind of caught off guard. Um, but you only get hit regularly enough. So, uh, yeah. All right. Thanks, James, for uh, walking through the park and by NHK and talking with us about uh, 
your ventures this past year in 2013 and hopefully in 2014 we get together and do another one of these uh little video updates yeah absolutely I, i'm in japan a lot i love visiting here obviously um for work as well as social visits but uh, i have a feeling it's going to be another busy season coming up models are showing you a couple of storms potentially in january so uh you know we'll no, not much rest <laughs> <laughs> all right well thanks again and um yeah stay safe out there everybody